second day up here first day from the first video was just coming up and do a preliminary check and see and confirm customers complaint it was at the end of the day so we have the LGMV software that is the interface meant to work with um, VF, uh, VFR mini splits here and if you look real carefully right at this line below my pinky finger where it says EVV EEV that's your electronic expansion valve and come on focus I have bright sun up here that doesn't want to let me do anything let's brighten that up oh that's too bright so these things are fe uh, feeding fully and that room is in the dark but that room does get air blowing into it from three other rooms that have the lights on but this particular one uh, it's in the dark mode right now the lights turned off almost an hour ago and the expansion valves are feeding fully to try to maintain temperature and it is not so we have no malfunctions and our temperature inverter temperatures at 143 degrees and uh, what's our I just clamped on some meters here. Our liquid line temperature is 144. Our suction line temperature is 66 degrees. And that you could read up here on the, the board too. You don't need to clamp on. Everything you need is really right here. Other than looking for a leak, we're gonna perform a recovery right now and uh, fill this back up to a uh, factory spec and go from there this was installed six years eight years ago so it's had a run for its life and it runs 24 7 365 never shuts off get back to you on the video after we uh we connect it up let's see cycle through the views here and you get to see your fans running compressors only add uh 36 uh, Hertz right now so it's not even pushing hard because the other fans but what is pushing far the expansion valves are wide open suction uh, suction temp for the accumulator 68 degrees and what did I say I have coming in 66 degrees because I'm reading the temperature right after it comes out of the insulated pipe here and I'm reading it right there so it's 66 there and the temperature sensor right there as it goes into the accumulator is 68 right there so we're tag on with this and that are about the same and there's our uh, inverter output of our compressor 141 degrees and what does mine say 143 degrees And our temperatures across our air handlers. We got 40 degrees, 41 degrees out of all of them. 65 coming out. Or other way around. Let's word that correctly. All the fan speeds are on three. And then if you wanted to graph something overnight uh, to test everything, you can actually run graphs and do an overnight test if you want. All right, I'll leave you guys off here and there'll be another video after we do the recovery and recharge.